Cursor 2.0 is considered to be one of the most powerful IDEs in the world. And I want to test it by giving a project from scratch and see if it can work. And we are going to exclusively use Cursor's new model Composer 1. The project that we are trying to build is something called YouTube Thumbnail Downloader. It's a very popular website, like a lot of websites like this that are making thousands of dollars every month. So all you have to do is give a YouTube link and then it is going to give you the ability to download the thumbnail. So this is what we are going to do now. Let's see if we can accomplish this. First of all, I've got an empty project. You can see the current folder is empty. There is nothing inside it. You've got the classic editor view, but then you have got the new agents view. So you can get started with the agents view. So I'm going to just like, uh, if I'm not going to run multiple agents at this particular point, but I'm going to just run only one agent. So I've got like a composer and uh, I'm going to select a new agent and I'm going to just say, I want to build a YouTube thumbnail downloader. Um, I want to run it locally in my computer. Please do the things. See, I mean, it's probably one of the dumbest prompt that you would have ever seen, but I want to see how it behaves. I might not have a lot of dependencies available. So let's see what it is going to do. So you can see here already it started coding. I can zoom out a little bit. So it's building the title. It's doing everything. I want to go back to the editor view. I hit this particular one. So in the editor view, you can see that it has already created three files, a simple HTML um, uh, markdown and a JavaScript CSS file. So if I go to markdown, you can see YouTube thumbnail downloader and all the, oh, it's done. Are you kidding me? It's done. Okay. So let's see, let's keep all and let's see the instruction, how to run this locally. Double click this one to open in your browser. Okay. Interesting. I can open it in my browser. Um, the, let's 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 do that. But the recommended method, better, better experiences, run a local server. How do I run a local server? Can you run the local server for me? Okay, it says just do this. I'm going to run this. I guess it is running the local server. I'm going to copy this link, go back to my browser and then paste it here. Okay, cool. So we've got something. That's interesting. So I have to bring in some YouTube link. This one, copy the link, come back here, paste it, get the thumbnails. It's pro done. Can you believe it? Like all, all we did was just gave the prompt and then it did. So let's add some features. Okay. So YouTube thumbnail download is there. I mean, the effects are nice. Let's go ahead and then, I mean, just for the sake of asking, uh, can we go ahead and then just say, um, this looks awesome but the UI is super boring, not modern. Okay, so that's all I said. Now it knows that it has to improve the UI. It is going to make the changes. The biggest pitch from Cursor for Composer is that it is one of the fastest models while not compromising a lot in quality. Um, when you compare it with, let's say, the other models like Claude um, Sonnet 4.5 or GPT-5 Codex, all these models have higher reasoning capability that also means that it fills in the context window a lot and a lot of other things. So this model is supposed to be really good agentic model and it has got 200,000 context window. So the model is doing a pretty good job. And as you can see here now, it is rewriting most of the code because you know, uh, the master, like in this case, me is unhappy with whatever design that it created. But it's quite fascinating to see that, uh, I mean, not every day you would see that in one shot, it would do everything. So, but uh, here we have got, so I can click download maximum resolution. Yeah, it just like lets me click it. I mean, there is not a lot of API involvement here. Maybe in the next video, I will actually do some complicated API. Like let me know in the comment section if you want me to do some API. Okay, let's go here back. Refresh this. Okay. Uh, honestly, I think I like the first one better. There is some sort of animation here. I'm bored of the gradient here. Cool. Anyways, it finished the job. There is some sort of animation. It did everything. There is some icon and there are some, um, you know, a little animations here that actually gives us the thumbnail that we want. In fact, like we didn't tell it to give us different, different type of thumbnails sizes and then it managed to give. Now all I have to do is just go host somewhere and do some SEO and then probably I can expect to get some clicks and uh, maybe slap a Google AdSense on top of it and pray that I get some money. I mean, it's, it's really good um, and I want to test it with some complicated project for the next video. Let me in the comment section what kind of projects that you would love to see me test out Cursor Agent Composer. See you in another video. Happy prompting.